my foot slipped and I came all the way down on it and the whole fucking sucker shoved into my foot. That was not comfortable at all. I have I have a lot of masturbation sex injuries. It happens quite a bit. That is that is such a you thing to do. It is. To zig when you should have zagged, slipped, and I accidentally fell all the way on the deck that I don't usually use all the way on the deck. No. I don't go that far down on you. You are too fucking big. Right. Hold on! The weekend has landed. All that exists now is clubs, drugs, pubs, and parties. I've got 48 hours off from the world, man. I'm going to blow steam out of my head like a screaming kettle. I'm going to talk cod shit to strangers all night. I'm going to lose the plot on the dance floor. The free radicals inside me are freaking, man. Tonight, I'm Jip Travolta. I'm Peter Popper. I'm going to never, never land with my chosen family, man. We're going to get more spaced out than Neil Armstrong ever did. Anything could happen tonight, you know? This could be the best night of my life. I've got 73 quid in my back burner. I'm going to watch the lot, man. The milky bars are on me! And now, live from Rule 34 Studio, I bring you a girl that, for some reason, seems to really hate her toes. Here she is, your host, the one, the only, Kinky Katie. Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. This is Kinky Katie's World number 369. I'm your host, Kinky Katie. With me, as always, is my absolute favorite flesh-covered fuck toy, Mr. SC. Yeah. Hey. Okay. What up? Sure. How you doing? Right. Right. We are coming to you live from Rule 34 Studio, KinkyKatieRadio.com, and RadioCast.net. Yeah. Oh, I think we got a fun show for you tonight. Okay. Yeah? For me? For for all of us. All right. Everyone. Sure. God bless us, everyone. Do I have to participate? Yeah, you're going to have to participate. Okay. A little bit, you know. Meet all us. right. I guess I could do that. Well, I have a new porn pick of the week. I have new tits, man. Um... Yeah, I want to start out by just you know thanking fans of the uh, of the show and of us. Appreciate it, you guys. You guys are awesome. Especially you. You know who you are. I like how you leave it ambiguous like that. That way, everybody's like, I know it's me. It's a good job. Of course. It's a good job. Good technique. But they know. Way to maximize your thing. They know. They know. If 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 you're the one, you know. You know it's you. <laughs> you know it's you. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening right now going, yes, it's me. Uh-huh. Yes, it is. Sure. No, they know. It's all you. It is. It's him. Yeah, we got a really, we got a really uh, nice tweet from Miss Lolly Tops. Did we? She was, she was the feature in a uh, recent Tits Man, and she listened to it, and she was like, oh, thank you so much. That's so cool. nice. Yeah, she was, she was very happy, because I mean, at first, because I, I remember when I, when I got the message, I'd forgotten what I said. And I, I had asked you, I'm like, oh, fuck, did I do any, did I say something wrong? No. Like, did I say, no, no, so. Basically, in your mind, you wanted to be nice, and you just wanted to make sure that you actually were the way you thought you yes. were. Yes. Okay. Because I know sometimes if I get in a mood or if you I get, get like, super hot, yes. Because she is, is she. I get catty. Or she presents she. So, yeah, you, you definitely, there's a good chance you might just start hating on her for no reason. For no reason at all. Because she so, had a bad day. Th- exactly. Uh-huh. So that's 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 why I just wanted to make sure everything was all like suave. <laughs> you're very unaware of your own aggression, is what you're saying. I really am. No, no, no. Because I, I, I don't know why, and I guess I'm more tolerant than a lot of other people. Because I'll say something, and I don't think anything's wrong with it, or I don't, I don't see how it could be taken wrong. And then someone's like, "Oh my god, rude!" I'm like, "What? What do you mean? Like, <laughs> what? What was rude about it?" Or uh-huh. Like, oh, you're you you think I'm this? I'm like, no, totally not. That's not what I meant. It was like, oh my God. You, know, you have to be very specific, very detailed in what you're saying because, you know, well, people, this is- it, that's if you don't want to be misinterpreted. If you don't care if you're misinterpreted, well, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't even know because I get misinterpreted all the time. Uh-huh. Like it drives me insane. That, was, that wasn't my intent. It I swear wasn't. to God, I didn't, I didn't mean that. No, <sighs> but that's a weird way to look at it. Was weirdo. It okay? Now you're weird. It's like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's awkward now. Fuck it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I was. I've had a flood of of emails and people trying to contact me to be on the show and to become. 
you know, guests and, 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 uh, to join like, um, other, uh, like podcaster guest pools, I suppose. Okay. You know, I like, I, did. <laughs> Maybe later, maybe later, maybe if we decide to do a longer show, that's, I mean, that's always a possibility, but it would, you know, record it at some point. So it's not rushed and shit like that. Uh -huh. But also, and then I had, um, I had two people, which is one is weird enough, but I had two people asked like, Oh, do you take call? Do you still take calls on the show? Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, I'm like, I'm not on that network anymore. But you know, sorry, but you can always email me. Anyway, well, live calls is such a weird thing to do. I mean, it's 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 a hard thing to do with the way that we do the show. Is the problem? Yeah, because I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to act with people. <laughs> like, hi. Well, there's nobody here to answer the phone when it rings. So, no, you know, no, right away, cold. you're the one. Yeah, and people maybe don't always know exactly like what they want to. Yeah, what they're trying to get out, what they're trying to say. They don't know who. It, you know what I mean? They need some it's background a, sometimes. They need training. It's okay. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying just to put, um, there's been a lot of, a lot of like products that are, that have been coming by. I'm like, yeah, I know who you are. I, I, I had <laughs> you, I had the creator of that product on my show before. <laughs> so it's like, but I can, I can attest that you're reputable. I, I mean, I, I, I know, but. <laughs> If you check in episode 68, 822, <laughs> and 35, um, we have referenced you very extensively. Yeah, it's very, very favorably. Uh -huh. So leave me alone. Yeah. No. <laughs> there well, are more it, well, it's a weird thing because our studio is at, at home. So having people over the house, and I don't know, Zoom stuff is weird, or online interviews in, in general are just they're, – they're different than being sitting in front of somebody – you know? Yeah. Well, but I mean, but I mean, being on like Zoom or, or Skype or some shit like that does help because I don't know. I, I, I work better because if I see that they look bored, I'm like, okay, spice it up, bitch. You know, just like do something. Uh -huh. But if I see that they're like really getting into it, then I get more excited too. I feed off the energy, I suppose. Yeah. You need an mm -hmm. audience, a lot. You need a live, a reactive audience. I guess so. You need somebody to react to what you're saying and doing. I don't need a laugh track. I need well, no, I said a reaction, a no, live I know, I know. audience. Yeah, I, know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, and that's why I keep looking at you. Still, <laughs> I can't stop. I won't you, stop. You do whatever you want, that's just right. don't expect me to do it back. I will, and don't read anything into the way I'm looking because that's just dumb. You know, <laughs> my look betrays my feelings all the time. Yeah, no, that's true. I don't know. I, the, I was talking about last time. Uh, my inability of uh, being, you know, to, to flirt with women. Yeah. Just because, you know, I'm just like a dude. So it's just, I don't, I don't know. Like I can't, I can't do it. I mean, I can, but well, you, you, you have the tendency of coming across like a dude, like a total douche dude, like too. a Chad dude. Yes. Hey babe, what's up? Nice, nice rack. Yeah. Yo. Or, you know, like, oh my God. Well, that's, just... that's kind of how you go about things. No, no, it's true. But, uh, Ever since we talked about it, I've had more women yeah. start flirting with me. Now, it could just be dudes <sighs> posing as girls. That's completely possible. I mean, We're not put it, putting it past anybody listening to us right now. Right. Y you but, you know who you are. <laughs> you. 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 I'm talking to you. you. You know who you are. Don't look at your body. Yeah. No, you. Don't, don't type somewhere. I know it was you, Charlie. No, it's definitely you. <laughs> but and and the one the one person that I the one woman that I was talking about the last one the one I was like that I was start that triggered this whole thing okay she's gotten more aggressive like mm. she, <laughs> like well that that's but that's what happens at any time when you're like talking to somebody online if you start dropping things and you you escalate and the escalations aren't rebutted. Like nobody's coming back saying fuck you or they're still interacting with you. No, you keep going until you get what you want. That's the way it goes completely. Well, that's how I've always been. And it's just, I just get very obnoxious though. Uh -huh. I tend to be like, I break you down. I fucking bully you to the point where I get what I want. Well, yeah, I wouldn't how put bad it is that. I wouldn't put it that way. No, but. And if it's sexual, yes. Kind of, but no, it's not like that. Really, you're not really bullying anybody, but you not anymore. You you would be persistent 
<laughs> very persistent, aggressively persistent. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know you know. <laughs> I always thought but it was say- funny. Yeah, but I'm saying other people know too. They're it, like, Jesus fucking Christ. It's funny seeing the fear in a man's eyes. <laughs> when he's standing in front of a woman he has, n- has no idea how to deal with. <gasps> what the fuck, dude? What's going on? I don't understand this. I, I just, I can't. You watch him lock up. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm not sure. What, we just, we've been talking for like 10 minutes and you just asked to see, like, what am I working with? <laughs> yeah. You expect me? But, uh, yeah. Oh my God, she just jumped her head down my pants. <laughs> yeah. I don't fuck around. <laughs> if there's something that I want to know, I want to know. If you're not going to show me, then I get right <laughs> you. You're so like, bad. you're like an ad man from the 1960s. What is that? Yeah, right like, out of, 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 you know, you're like an advertising agent from the 1960s. <laughs> I mean, that's your entire internal monologue for sure. It's yeah. very Mad Manny. Mm. Well, you know. There's a little John Hamm in you. I'd like a lot of John Hamm. <laughs> oh, really? Me. Would you? I would. I've seen the, the kind, the size cocks that you enjoy and things that are over the line for you. Oh, uh, yeah. That, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have fun. <laughs> Like that one G Spot from G Spot toy. It's the it's a plug in from Body Wom. Yeah, the one with the the grippy texture. It's got a really grippy texture, and I have to put a condom over it because I can't. It's like putting on a wet bathing suit. It's, it doesn't work very fucking well. <laughs> and I, there was one time that Essie he was using it on me, and just went to s- stick it in, and it was just like. He had to really push at it. <laughs> he was like, what the fuck? I was like, yeah, I know it's a tight fit on that one. Uh-huh. Anyway. So I know, kind of makes I know feel good, though. there's a limit to what you like to do. Yeah, that's true. You know, as, as much as everybody thinks, you know, that sure. I'm a you raging, wanna, gaping horror. You, well, that people, in, that, that there's a lot of women who enjoy something that's really massively oversized. Yeah, like that one toy that I still have that I bought that I've tried to use a bunch of times. I've managed it like a couple times, but it was not good after. I don't know if it's the material that I'm allergic to, but it's just or if it just beats me the fuck up. But I just like I burn after I use that one. Too buku. I don't too like buku. it. Yeah, it's way. It's too way. Way. Well, because there was one time because when I was doing my pillow stack method. Or I stack a couple pillows together and I kind of sit on it, you know, like you're riding, like you're doing, you know. Sure. Cowgirl. Like one does in, in in the bedroom. Correct. You need to ride the pillows. That's right. Uh-huh. Pillow riding. Ride that it's dick. Like bonco, bronco buck riding. Yeehaw. Saddle bronc. That's right. Get that dick. <laughs> Ow. Anyway, so I I was using it and then kind of like um I was <laughs> I was unmount I was getting off and my foot slipped. And I came all the way down on it, and the whole fucking sucker shoved into my foot. That was not comfortable at all. I have I have a lot of masturbation sex injuries. It happens quite a bit. That is that is such a you thing to do. It is to zig when you should have zag slipped, and I accidentally fell all the way on the deck that I don't usually use all the way on the deck. No, I don't go that far down on you. You are too fucking big. Right, but. And then it just goes, Ooh! <laughs> and just come down. I mean, full, and it wasn't, but it, it wasn't even like on a straightaway because I was, you know, it was like slightly um, um, d- d- tilted. Mm-hmm. So <sighs> it was angled, slightly angled. There and, you go. And, yeah, that's what I was like. Yeah, I mean, and that could have been my dick. That could have been my dick that you slipped <laughs> on. And uh, yeah, it could be snapped right now. I could have a fucking massive lefty. <laughs> like a 90 degree fucking lefty a third of the way up like not even halfway or right at the end no like a third like down at the base of my cock it fucking turns left what am i supposed to do with that now well then we'd have to start calling you mr uh ch mr captain hook <laughs> <laughs> no i cri- I've learned with you to keep a firm grip of your hips so I know where you're going. And if you decide to do something, I don't let you. I stop you. I go, nope, you're not doing that. You are not coming. Nope, you're not doing it. You, you. I am the safety limiter because I like my dick in one piece. Thank you. Because you've almost done it several times. 
This isn't theoretical. I get overzealous sometimes. You 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 made maneuvers and and come out and then just j- jammed right back on it and it didn't go into any hole and I don't know where my dick went. <laughs> but it's happened more than once. <laughs> To where I know I have to keep an eye on you. You're like a little child. Ooh. You're going to go too far, but not not like that. That's Me- not good. Well, meaning I have to keep an eye on you. You need chaperoning. You can't just ride the top unchaperoned. I can't just I can't just put my hands above my head and just say, fuck it, go ahead. Hell no. I might not walk away with a dick in one piece, or it'll be in one piece, but it'll be like boomerang shaped. They're going to call me down on your dick now. Right. 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 (laughs) 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 Fucking one show we watch. I love it. It, it, Sometimes it's hard to translate excited Australians. For me anyway. Or are they New Zealand? No, it's Australia for sure. Okay. How ridiculous. Mm -hmm. People who drop things on things. That's neat. Okay. It's it's kind of neat. But sometimes when they get going, it's like, what in the fuck are you saying, man? (laughs) I say that, and I'm I am a hundred percent sure there's somebody listening right now. Who's, what are you talking about? Mumbling. I know. <laughs> Mumbler. <laughs> what? Do you even say real words, asshole? You're like, huh? Uh, I'm, I'm only halfway into English, and really, this is a struggle listening to you. <laughs> there's a new There's a new controller out there for for gamers. It's uh, it's in the shape of a butt. Okay. <laughs> And it's got like one of them has lingerie and the other one just has a G string on. Okay. No, I just I think it's neat. So you can <laughs> you can play with the little oh, bent over booty. Yeah, it's just an Xbox controller, I think. Yeah, with cheeks. Cool. With some cakes. Snap them. How many dudes are gonna jizz on that? How many dudes jizz on that already? Ew, I don't know. If you're a gamer, what else would you come on? It's floor? I don't know. A <laughs> sock? <laughs> Empty Pokemon card box? I don't know. Well, if you were going to think some machine in your your home was attractive and you are pro gamer, you know, you are balls deep in the gaming world, you're going to want to catch a nut on your gaming equipment. I'm sure at some point somebody wants to. Sponsor t-shirt? Oh, okay. Yes. No. <laughs> this is my G Fuel cum rag. I mean, the, the way that you could combine the things that you love most catching a nut and playing video games you know catch a nut on your video game controller you you could get one of the fucking um cocksucker machines that attach to your computer so yeah it's not the same i'm just talking about somebody (laughs) no you're playing you're you you control it with a controller and it like like goes and and does like whatever you tell it to do so i don't know if i want to control it which sounds weird i guess well, that's I don't know kinda... how much fun I want to go full ex machina fantasy. Okay, so like, yeah, like when someone else sucks your dick, you're not. I uh-huh. mean, you're not. You're not making it do. You're not. T- oh, twist I wa- your head this way. I want to be your able hand to, this way. I want to be able to stop it at any point in time, or well, or go to a different setting. You know, just take it off, or or, or go Unless to a, just like clamp, or go to a different setting. You yeah. Know? But I do want a pre-programmed. I don't want to have anything to do with that. No. How about you figure this out for me, Dilwad? Oh, can you make one with braces? I like the scrapey oh, feeling. No. See, that's the can problem. You do that? I guess it's a subjective thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, you like what I, you I like. I guess it is. I don't. I'm not sure. It really is. Mm-hmm. Either you're right or you're wrong. Oh, I um, I found out I've got a small cameo in uh, in a movie. <laughs> We talked about it a little bit um, at the Tampa Bay Screams uh, Swap Shop, but um, it's in the it's going to be in the Craglion Incident Three Annihilation. So look for me if you see the movie Blockbuster. It's coming, coming huge, huge. You could tell by the title already. Well, it's part three. First, wow, I know three of them. Fuck yeah, wow, successful franchise. Then I guess it has been really. Yeah, I know nothing about it. It's a wine coop movie. Uh, what? It's a Joel Winecoop movie. He's, okay. He is, the, he is the king of the B-movies. Is he? He is. Okay. Yes. Well, cool. Yeah. I know very little about it. I, just, God, he's, done, he's done a lot of fucking movies. Well, okay, good. Sounds like fun. <laughs> there, what, which horror will you be playing? <laughs> Number three. No. <laughs> 
Oh, come on. You're typecast for sure. I know I am. Psychotic horror woman. Psychotic horror woman. You psychotic horror woman. In one way or another. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I'm a sex worker in some way, either future, former, or... Present. Present. Working currently. Yeah. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. So that that's what happens. I, I you've been I'm, the victim. I'm always, you've been the attacker. Yeah, you've been the final girl. I have, but yeah. it, but it's always been. I'm a prostitute. I'm an alien prostitute. I'm a um, cannibal alien prostitute. <laughs> a stripper. Uh, another stripper. <laughs> a washed up porn star. Former model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Method act that one. Uh, a chick who gets um, assaulted in the forest by an alien, but then goes home and masturbates while a uh, guy who's hiding in my closet shoots the alien out of his dick into me. I'm not thinking that's too far from reality for you. I could right? I could see you you doing that some for some reason. I want some ET action. Well, whatever it is, the, the the stretch of the situation hit you right and really got you twitching. It got that clip bumping, and when it did, you went home. You went, "Oh my god, I survived that!" Oh, gee, and you want to thrill masturbate? You do that a lot. You like to get tattooed, and you want to come home and get fucked. Yeah, that's true. Uh huh. That's true. Oh, and speaking of, I'm not even tattooed, but I know I said on the on last week's episode. That I was gonna wait to get my nose pierced on like Wednesday, but I didn't wait. <laughs> Monday I went. Self control is not your thing. It's not. No. And then I felt really bad because I'm like, I thought I thought that SC was gonna be mad at me. Okay. I don't know I why. That was a ludicrous statement. I know. I don't know why. It sounded weird just, to me. Well, like, what are you talking about? I know. What do you mean? You didn't pierce my nose when I was sleeping. It's your face. Pierce your gooch. A- and not only that, we literally talked about it on air. We talked about you getting your nose pierced. No, I know. So you went a different day. Uh, all right. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm not sure why I would have a problem. No, I know. I don't I don't know what my problem okay, is. Okay, well. I'm, I'm weird. You're afraid you were going to catch a fresh one, that's all. Maybe. No. <laughs> Stop it. Don't do that. <laughs> don't get around. I know. It's, it's not a good idea. I know. You're not the one that has to go to jail. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> no, they probably like look at all these um everything that I post and she'd be like, No, she's fucking nuts. She's weird. I'm like, you're you're all right, sir. <laughs> sure. I'm sure that's exactly what would happen. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I'm not exactly a small chick. Right. You know? Okay. That doesn't mean And I'm mouthy. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? You're allowed to be mouthy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh-huh, that doesn't mean anybody deserves a beat down. No, no, no. No, what I'm saying, you know, like, never mind. People would think they would 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 give me sympathy. Is that what you're saying? They would understand if I if I did what? I think so. Or you know, or they would be like, you know, oh, I see how she is. Just like remember when we got pulled over, um, where I totally should have gotten a DUI because you didn't have a driver a license. The fucking guy in the back seat didn't have a license. I was jack fucking shit face blackout drunk with a crown a big old to go glass of crown in the cup holder throwing a hissy fit because nobody would let you drive right because right. you took my keys and you're like don't right. drive and then the cops came <laughs> I, t- I literally took the keys out as you were driving literally yeah it's not one of my prouder moments i literally grabbed the wheel you you slammed into the brakes and there was a parking lot right there mm-hmm. because we were in a, a very residential area very residential we right at the swimming pool yep and i literally pulled the wheel you slammed into the brakes we got it into the parking lot i took the keys got out and chucked them down the street uh-huh because you were coming after me for them yep wow I and was. then they called the cops on me i don't That's know how right. that happened and I mean, I know how that happened. You you were being a, a, a raging, belligerent, fucking wild person. Yeah. And uh, I am just trying to stay away from you and not let you drive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And the really fucked up part is they let all three of us go in the same car. No, no ticket, no nothing. They just yeah. let us fucking go. And we were all hammered. With two people who didn't have a license, and we left straight from there and went to a bar. <laughs> straight from where the cops fucking left us and went to a fucking bar. 
Yeah. I don't Who know said, how he's, he's still alive. I, no, and I don't, you know, like decision making wasn't our strong point at some times. No. You know, that bad idea on top of a bad idea, but we just squeak through it somehow. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, man. Well, no, they, and when they stopped us uh, after afterwards, they immediately separated us because they wanted to know if you had been abused and all like because wow. I was crying and yeah. Was, yeah 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 and and I I just told I told the truth yeah. I said hey look I don't have a license but she can't drive and she is going ape shit and I did what I had to do to get her to stop and that wasn't touching her in any way that was touching these keys and chucking them down the road. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then they listen. The, the lady cop who was leaned in our, in the had us segregated from you, uh, leaned back to the back of the car and could hear just heard Katie talk <laughs> and was listening to you. And then looked at us and was like, "All right, so nobody has a license." I was like, "No, but we got to get her home." Like, and she listened to you for another minute. Went, "Yeah, you got to get her home. She is out of hand." I go, "Uh huh, I know." Just load her in, and I bet she's she's gonna behave now because you know now we got stopped. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> gonna she's gonna behave now. No, you did. No, you did. Mm. You got quiet. Well, yeah, cause I'm- <laughs> <laughs> you realized what kind of an idiot you were being. You you like it dawned on you and like you, uh oh. And then, but but you also you're like, are you to stop now? <laughs> if you stop, we'll go to the bar. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Sometimes you got to use the carrot. God, I'll get damn. you another drink if 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 you just admit you're not driving anywhere. Such a fucking mess. Well, you know, thank God nobody hurt anybody. I know, right? Ugh. There was a zoo that separated five parrots after they caught the birds were encouraging each other to swear at guests. <laughs> like there were those gray, like African uh, <laughs> parrots, the ones that are like really vocally. Good. They pick up things, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, like really well. And uh, the, the bad apples in the bunch are teaching <laughs> teaching the rest of them. Yeah, apparently they're like you know like, don't fuck off, do it, do it. Like, <laughs> I mean, they realize that people are the ones who taught them how to do that. Yeah, I mean, they don't come out of the jungle doing that. Right, you can't just catch an African gray and he knows how to cuss like a sailor. No, no way. they just start clicking. <laughs> you know. I don't understand. They came out of like the rainforest. Oh, they're speaking a weird language. The only people saying. around them are the like indigenous. natives. Yes. All right. All right. Anyway, on that it's note, it's not funny if you have to have to have to explain it. We're. Um, I'm just letting you in on that little. It's a, it's a, it's a secret. Oh <laughs> it's kind of my favorite segment. Stand by. Standing by. It might not be the porn <laughs> you would pick. <laughs> It is the porn. Katie won. It's time once again for Katie's Porn Pick of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> My porn pick of the week is painful torture. I know. On uh, on someone I don't like. <laughs> really? Mm. Even someone you might like. No, 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 no. I, I want it to be, you know, like, you know how we always say, like, so-and-so has a stupid face, and you just yeah. want to, like, or it's got a punchable face. Sure. But like a really obnoxious person just getting like going in anal dry you know wow. just really get I mean I'm talking like having their tits bound uh, like wrapped She's with talking male female what, what's going on here well female mostly mm. yeah <laughs> I'm cause I'm I'm in that I'm in that cycle where I'm I'm fucking moody as hell and like I feel like railing a bitch no, I feel like watching her get railed and not like it at all. Like I really wow. don't want her to like it. Hopefully, I'm, consensually. No, I, I mean I want like what? I want like extreme BDSM. I want to see bruises. I want to see tears. I want to see drool. That's what I want. Okay, you want to go full max hardcore or worse? Not, not really max not hardcore. Not him particularly. Different, different flavors of a similar gig. Well, no, because the chicks in max hardcore, a lot of you know, they show them smiling. Like, of course, I don't want this bitch to smile. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Want I want her tears to be, running makeup. I want her to wonder what the fuck she did in her life to deserve this kind of treatment. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 
But that, that's that like really turns me on. Mm-hmm. Like that's what's doing it as mm. like right now. Really? Yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> Horn pick of the week. It is. It's pretty aggressive. Oh, it's very aggressive. You, you think? Oh no 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 no! You don't know oh, the images oh, no, that know. are going on oh, in my head. Oh, I oh. have an idea. Mm, I do you? have. I, I do. I do. I have ideas. Mm. I do. I have three ideas a day. That was one of them. (laughs) There's a company. It's called Liquor What? (laughs) And (laughs) Is it a crotch deodorant? No, it is not. A little vaginal uh, hairspray? Airspray? No, it's uh, it's heavy on the innuendo. Like a mint? Well, they do. They, one of their newest products is Taste Our Cream Filled Beavers. Mm. You can get cream filled beavers, chocolate cream filled beavers. Mm. So I, just, I didn't think dairy went well with beaver. Mm, no, I, I would think because it would be some kind of culture. Well, it's like mishap. It's like cheese and shrimp, uh, not shrimp, but cheese and seafood. Seafood. seafood and there you go. But then again, I mean, think about like lobster mac and cheese. Uh, well, no, I know. There's there are several things that, I, what do I know? I'm a fucking heathen. Cheesy crab dip. There's all mm. kinds of shitty shit that I enjoy that <laughs> I'm sure shit. that other people who have whatever you want to say, uh, a different palate on tasting things would think was disgusting. I'm uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But they're no fun. All right, let's go to an episode of Rule 34. When we come back, we got a new tits man and other stuff to talk about. So stay tuned. Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. Imaginative sex sounded like you're, when you're, <laughs> sounded like pushing a straw in and out of a fountain drink cup. You're like, <laughs> 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 well, if you grew up with that and that was the way it was for everybody, I'm sure it would be like nothing. But if you just introduce that to me, let's say the new law comes out in 2022 and we all have to put on some kind of weird device that makes that noise. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hard to get past. <laughs> It'd be a lot of laughing for sure. Why are you laughing? What do you mean? Why am I laughing? You, you, you hear that? Me? You hear that, right? <laughs> No, no, I don't. It's like when you ever bring- since we got the vaccines, the speakers just play in our ears automatically. We can't ever show. We can't even put in earplugs, but we hear the sound every time we fuck. They're trying to like unbreed us. Is what it is. That's what the nanobots are actually doing. They're actually setting up to make it to where you hear the straw up and down noise in a to-go cup every time you have sex, so you won't be able to finish. Where at least only certain people will be able to finish. It's like, bitch, what is wrong? You need some lube. Yeah, and if you're a billionaire, you get the automatic torture chamber sound. Which really gets them off, so they can breed a lot. Well, there's also the the slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse, option. yeah, yeah. You have to have the slaughterhouse option yeah. if you're going to have the torture. I mean, it's always it's always like, person who bought this also bought. <laughs> <laughs> And now, on with the show. Uh, and welcome back to Kinky Katie's World, Rule 34 Studios, KinkyKatieRadio.com, and RadioCast.net. Yes! You can get us on the Twitter later at Kinky Katie Radio, KinkyKatieRadio.com, KinkyKatieRadio at gmail.com, Facebook, FedLife, on YouTube. You can Google me, because I like it. Uh, but your best bet if you want to reach me and you want a, a response is to email me or get me on Twitter. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd come out to that direction and see what you did. Do you smell burnt toast? It's, oh, I'm fine. I'm wondering if you do. <laughs> I might. Taste almonds? <laughs> I, I want kiwis. <laughs> All right. It doesn't make any sense. That's okay. There's there's this cool like bra thingy that I want. Bra thingy is that the official terminology for it? Or yes, yes it is. D- okay. <laughs> it's it's it, it, what it is is there's two pads there and then connecting underneath it is a deep wire that's shaped like a U, but you can bend it into different into different shapes if you want to. Okay. So like two little flat pad things with with a bendy in the middle. With a bendy in the middle. But okay. but it's a low swinging deep deep U. Deep U. Deep big for for sitting on what's the purpose of said fucking product to your 
you're hawking here. Well, this is yours. Who got to you? you what did. corporate corporation came and got to you? Somebody, somebody's feeding me this. It's a strapless bra, but you can't like see it. It's and it's supposed to work better than those sticky ones. It, they have like okay. those sticky. So it goes, and, it goes around. The, it, one pad goes one between between them. W- one pad goes on the outside of one tit. The uh-huh. other pad goes on the outside of the other tit. Yeah. So it squishes them yeah. together and it holds them up. I'm feeling it, okay. So am I. And they they I love their their videos that right? um, you know showing like different women putting them on. And there's some women with some big old boobies, natural flopping them in this and they're thing. They're hanging and, in. Oh yeah, and like one, they like put one side in. They're like, oh. I mean, it's. You think it's the hot glue they use to like put them on, or? Well, no, they Is show them, anything to do with it. They show them putting it on. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Well, I mean, I'm I'm just saying though, the thing looks pretty cool. I I dig it. I want to try it out. Yeah. I do. You want one? I do. All right. Yeah. I want the weird bra thingy. Yeah. I. I it's like just 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 metal spring action just mm, you know, metal right there right over the metals underneath okay you got pads on the sides i don't, I don't think anything will go wrong with it's that like at if, all. it's like if someone went to your tits and and grabbed each side just with like brrr, like squishing them together like yeah. you're gonna do a brumski i mean it would seem yeah and here again i don't wear bras so like even wearing something like that around my chest really would drive me crazy. I mean, I don't in know. general, anything. Well, we, I mean, a lot of the times women wear shit that are uncomfortable anyway, and beauty equals pain. So sometimes well, and, to get the achievement. And some women, them flopping around all day as you're walking isn't comfortable either. That's so right. I mean, some women are just trying to be comfortable. Other women could care less if they wear one. Oh, there's so many times I've just wanted to just run to the store, just go braless. Like, I just don't care. You do. Or. <laughs> You do not often, you, but you do. Sometimes, I'll th- well, if I throw on like a sweatshirt or something, just so, so your nips look- aren't like really out outrageous. Yeah, it's not. It's not like because I, I have a couple of shirts that that it's pretty thin, but my nipples look really great in it. If I don't <laughs> wear a bra, but I, I don't wear it out. Yeah, well, you do. You don't do it often. You hundred percent do. I've seen you do it, and you will. You will almost, <laughs> almost, almost like psychopathically uh, answer the door like that. Oh, well, the door's a different thing. Cause the door's it, a different thing. It's either, it's either fucking like Amazon fresh or goddamn delivery food. Yeah. So what do I care? At least, though, uh, I have pants on. Because that's because <laughs> there was that time where okay. I answered the door and got pizza. My fucking my pants fell down to the floor, and I'm just like muffs out. I What's thought up? it was so funny because you were like holding a, the pizza in your hand. Yeah, and, and I also had a crop top on too, so I was Winnie Poohing it. Yeah, uh huh. It was funny. You see brown a little bit. Well, yeah, it's my it's my crotch. I, and I pretty much watched and laughed. I thought it was great. You did. It was well. You're the one who did that. You were you were drunk. So was I. Yeah, and I was also on Spice, too. Were you? Yes. Okay. So it, I didn't give a flying fuck. I was just I didn't like, give a flying frizzle fuck. That's right. Uh, Not even a frizzle. Not even a frizzle fuck. That's a special kind of frizzle. It you is. Fuck. Yep. <laughs> you know when you've gotten a frizzle fuck, though. Oh, yes, you do. It leaves a weird rash behind it. There's a, there's a Japanese woman. She's been inventing... Um, what she calls liberating lingerie. Liberating lingerie. Mm-hmm, since we're talking about bras and shit, like easy to remove kind of a thing. Well, she says that too many people are are just uh, underwear are too tight. Whether you like, you know, like granny panties or thongs or whatever, they say they're too constricting. And what she's created is the liberating lingerie, and uh, it's a she. She wants women to don loincloths. Like instead, clothes. like you know, Tarzan. Oh, you know, like okay. Just a little flappy flap covering just the flappy covering yeah. the front, right? Let everything else rock. Yeah, biblical. So straight out of Adam and Eve style. It's like, what's the point of that when you're wearing pants? Yeah, why don't you just not wear it to begin with? Yeah, like, do you have to wear underwear? No, I mean. Okay, when you have your period, sometimes it's necessary to, you know, because it helps anyway. Well, I'm going to quote one woman that I know pretty well that would always say the one thing about being uh, naked everywhere you go is being open-faced every time you sit down. Yeah, that's true. And that is kind of a bother, I've heard. 
Yeah. Uh huh. You cool. don't seem to like that, but that's not helping you with being like open faced, going full goat onto a fucking vinyl chair. No, it's not at the local Pizza Hut. It's not. <laughs> no, because really <laughs> everything's pizza everything's still hanging out. You know. Hey. It's like a, what, then it's like you're wearing two skirts. You know? Yeah. Because you're wearing a loincloth underneath a skirt or a dress. The kittens are playing. Yeah. They're, they're having battle battle star next to me. I'm like, what the hell is going on over there? Well, you never know. Yeah. They're- I thought I thought some little people had infiltrated our home and were trying to attack me from behind the little bar area. Goblins. Star, is that what they're... <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> Did you know? No. And you probably didn't. Nope. And I don't, oh God, that there's a practice known as, okay, I'm, I'm going to totally fuck this up, but whatever. You gotta, go, you gotta, you gotta stop too. You gotta go roll right with it with confidence. And like just, all these other people that I hear you just fucking pronounce the fuck shit. up, say that goddamn <laughs> word and, and it will become its own reality. Well, I'm going to have a Kurdish person that's the way contact we, me and be like, what the fuck is wrong with I you? I mean, that's the way we do things these days. We just, we just mispronounce something horribly and not give a flying Flying frizzle fuck fuck again (laughs) no frizzle fuck no frizzle fuck about how you say it but you did it with confidence so now it becomes the new reality there you go well okay Turkandan is uh (laughs) Turkandan Turkandan hell man is that like a three ducking I I went out with his sister Turkandan we all we know all about him man (laughs) oh shit he used to do the, the, the chickens and turkeys my god well, this is this is the uh, dudes hold the lower part of their shaft of their hard cock with one hand, and then they uh, use the other one to quickly snap it, and they do it on purpose, and it's said to be painless. Which- what are they? What, okay, wait a minute. So, these people of whatever that word was, Japan Dan. It's a place, an area. No, it's a practice. It's a practice. The practice is known as Japan Dan. Breaking their dick. Yeah, but they said it's 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 akin to like cracking your knuckles. So what they do is they like to when you're hard, they grab it from the bottom, take the top, just do a quick little, you know, like when like when a chiropractor's taking your neck and you see them go, like, you're like, oh my god, you just killed that person. But apparently, uh huh, not really, right, right. I don't think I'm doing that. Well, yeah, no, I I don't I don't want you to do that. But I mean, sometimes says, giving it a good tug does feel nice, but that's you don't. I'm not going doing that quickly. And if I heard a snap, I would be concerned. Uh, well, immediately um, I would not want to fuck anymore. There I'm like, was, what the hell was that? There's a medical scientist in Iran that uh, says it causes the loss of the erection. Well, no shit. Well, unless you're into that shit. Um, And a satisfying popping noise. (laughs) It says uh, perhaps the practice used to get rid of unwanted erections. I thought I thought the feeling uh, satisfying was always peeling something off of something. That seems to be the universal internet uh, definition. We're licking microphones of satisfying. You know, clicking your nails on something. Oh, whatever. That is so much talking about. But no, peeling like peeling plastic covers off of stuff is is nice. Is it? It's just like. Ah. Is it? Yes. Okay. It is. If you say so. Like, okay, get a new pair of sunglasses, and there's a little sticker on it. Like, well, you know, it says peel, UV, whatever. It just I peel stuff yeah. off of stuff all the time. It just does nothing for me. Well, good for you. I mean, mostly I'm thinking that thing is off now, and now it can get scratched up. Where before it was gonna wasn't gonna get scratched up at all. I'm usually not a fan of peeling the shit off at all. Leave it alone. Let that thing protect it until it starts looking weird. Then peel it off. <laughs> all right, I think we're gonna go to your favorite segment. Stand by. Standing by. Boobs in and on the news. It's time once again for Tits, 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 tits Man. Man. So this week's Tits Man has been, um, <laughs> I don't know, it's starting to become near and dear to my heart, I okay. suppose. But these are Russ Meyer movies. Mm. And if you're not familiar with the writer-director Russ Myers, they're all exploitation, uh, huge boobs on the women. Okay, I'll look it movies. up. Russ Myers. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's R-U-S-S-M-E-Y-E-R. Common spelling. Yeah. Well, whatever. He's the one. One of his movies is Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Yeah. A lot of people have heard of have heard of it. I don't care if you're young; you've still probably heard of it. Anyway. Okay. But almost all almost all of the women in in his movies, they all have fucking humongous 
tits. The immortal Mr. T's and nudie cuties. D- there you go. Right. right. The- Cherry, Harry, and Raquel. We're talking <laughs> like 60s and, 19, and the late 50s and 60s and into the 70s. So these are before they were even fake boobs. These are all real. Well, so they're, 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 they were fake boobs pretty sway back. I didn't think it way back then in I, the 60s. I don't know. Earliest boob job? I would, I would think it would be in the 50s or 60, 60s. But there's Motor Psycho fucking... Uh, Foxy Viva Vixens. Yeah. Black Snake. 1962. Super Vixens. 62, yeah. they started to it. And I'm sure he was on the bleeding edge of boob technology, being he was a filmmaker and all. Well, if you if you click the um, like images, if you Google Russ Meyer and click images, you'll be able to see um, a lot of a lot of photos from the women that have been in um, in his movies, and also even his wife. He married a nurse, and her knockers are huge. <laughs> They're very very large. He knows that he's a very good talent assessment person. I can tell already just by the photos when you juju that shit. So it just so it makes it makes me think of of just the movie that I've been doing because it's like she got big tits all right she do nudity <laughs> even better you know it's like <laughs> she willing to let us dump weird shit on her I all need right. you to jump around for what because <laughs> is she cheap that's the next thing <laughs> will she do it inexpensively how far can we push her <laughs> no so anyway that's my tits man for the week Tits. 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 Man. Yeah, that's like your classic '60s exploitation films, like like he B movie stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's one of those things that if I was into into following that thing, I should you know know about all about it, but I don't. Mm. Yeah, Pussycat Kill Kill. I've seen. Yeah, I've seen a lot of these playbills now that I look at them, but yeah. I don't remember shit. That's okay. My memory's gone. I wasn't alive back in the '60s though. So no, I can't really talk for that. Oh, damn it. Well. What happened? Okay. Your then. story disappeared? Yeah, it did. Uh-oh. That's all right. You're going to have to make shit up now. No, 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 it's no. It's never stopped you before. No, it's okay. That's no big deal. Oh, there is the, the band that I used to help out when I was younger, SAC. Okay. S-A-Q. You're, you're a high school band that you uh, groupied after? I was, I wasn't, I was, had already graduated I was I was out. I was okay. You were like eighteen to twenty one like, years like old. Nineteen, yeah, like nineteen twenty. Uh, uh, okay, so mm. let's just say right in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, right. I used to. I even had a big SAQ sticker put on the back of my truck because I was that much of a groupie, and we would go. Me and a friend of mine, or, or sometimes I'd go by myself, and we would go to their practice and just sit there for like hours and listen to them. Anyway, they kind of. Um, Apparently, they all got together for barbecue. Right. And I came up in the whatever happened to (laughs) part of their conversation. Okay. And I was like, oh, God, I can only imagine. I don't know, because it was so, it was such, it was a long time ago. I mean, fuck, we're going back like 20 years, 21 years. Sure. So I I don't know. That was just weird. Because I told them, like, yeah, the Sackmobile actually exploded. Like, are you all right? I'm like, yeah, we're fine. Just caught on fire Christmas Eve. That's right. Your stereotypical story. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Woken up by, by Korean neighbors <laughs> yelling at you in a foreign language. Ajari! Ajari! Fire! What fire. the fuck? Four o'clock in the morning. Flames shooting up above that building. I'm drunk. Trees catching on fire. As the apartment building's catching on fire. <laughs> it had nothing to do with us, it was an electrical fire. Yeah. It was Fords the, are really good at just burning down to the ground for no reason. It was the 98 Ford Exploder. Yeah, like, that's what the fire department said. Yeah. Like, Did you leave a lit cigarette in the car? I'm like, no. No, dude. when 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 he popped, when they, when they got the hood off of the car. Yeah, they, he, they saw there was an electrical thing. Like, yeah, right away, the dude knew exactly where to look. He mm-hmm. goes, it's going to be right. Yep, there it is. Yeah, it came from your electrical box. But I do think it's funny how like four times they asked me, and the, like, do you have any enemies that live around here? I'm like, no. Like, <laughs> why? Know. Why do you keep asking me? By that, it's like, can you catch some kind of vibe that I'm putting off that I don't know? That's like, yeah, because I was probably hammered. But. Well, but we were at home. <laughs> what no, are you I, gonna do? Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's like, you're at home. It's Christmas Eve. Uh, we didn't have the kids, so what? Yeah, we weren't hurting anybody. No, 
we were doing nothing wrong. <laughs> we were just drunk. Well, oh, yeah. actually sleeping after drinking. Yes. Passed out. Uh-huh. That was fun. It- <laughs> Ripped every fire extinguisher down in the complex. Well, probably eight or ten of them. Just trying to keep the building from catching on fire. Mm. Did you know that men over 60, uh, well, men who pay for sex when they're over 60 years old, they do it more often as they get older? Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Well, like once you crack the seal kind of a thing, it's just like the floodgates open and you realize I can just directly pay for pussy. Yeah, I can get it anytime I want to all the time and she'll do everything that I ask. I could see that happening. I think that would be common once you get used to just having an arrangement with somebody. Oh, yeah, especially you if you find, find like a prostitute that you like and who's uh-huh. nice and who doesn't take advantage of your old ass. Sure. You know, Whatever it is that you're into, they, they, they hit it right for you. Well, that's kind of funny because that's that was my role in Family Snapshot is I was the hooker with the heart of gold. Really? Another hooker. Okay. Surprise. You're typecast. We yeah. told you. You no, know this. But, uh, Nobody's surprised by hearing that either. But the so other you know. bitches were taking advantage of uh, poor Oz. And you wouldn't do it. No, and I you were better than that. And I ratted on him. That's right. I felt bad. You did. <laughs> anyway, I yeah, so you know, I'm the nice one. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Re- rewinding micro budget horror films, Katie's done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all right. That's okay. Oh, there is one that I saw. I didn't know if I was gonna talk about this, but people in, in other countries I have some very strange practices. Oh, says you. No shit. So that's saying something. S- says the the girl who's been fantasizing about about holding women down and doing horrible things to them. Not just the women. S- says that mostly girl. women, but but. So what are these weird things that you're saying do oh. they do? You want to do the air quotes one more time? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there, there was an infant boy, right? Was married off to his neighbor's dog, okay, in eastern India by villagers because they said it would stop the boy from being killed by wild animals. Okay, well, what, you're you, saving a kid's life. Li- you, I mean, like, okay, they are. They obviously saved the kid's life from getting eaten by a wild animal. I mean, that dog now is going to protect that child. I mean, you've seen uh, Tarzan. Right? You mean you know how this works? Raised by wolves? Come on. Yeah, that's how. That's why I'm wearing my fucking. I mean, it's claw. like that, that. That child is getting the best of both worlds. He lives in a somewhat uh, modern area, and he has uh, the the learning of being taught by a wolf to protect himself. That kid's going to be like the ultimate mutant here coming up. All I mean, right, they, Mowgli. They, they, they did that kid a favor. Fucking jungle book over here. Well, I'm just saying that kid's never gonna have to fear for his life now. All right, that's weird. Uh, there was um, <laughs> there was another case of a woman had a she got her puss burned after her partner was had been um, kind of chowing down, like ate a whole bag of flaming Cheetos, flaming <laughs> hot Cheetos, and went down on her and gave her an infection and burned the crap out of her coochie. <laughs> an infection. Yeah, no flaming hot Cheeto powder was infectious. Like, it, does it have like a bacteria or something? Well, I don't know. And what did they not swallow? They just went with a mouthful of, of flaming hot Cheeto mush and just and just like fuck a baby bird into her snatch. And then mm, I'm gonna eat it like this. Like, well, uh, well, you have to have a reason for for why you have something that looks like a herpy. It's not a herpy. It's Cheeto dust. It's Cheeto dust. <laughs> Sure. I didn't give you herpes, honey. I had Cheeto dust on my face. I don't. Yeah, your crotch looks fine. It just, you know, it's a little orange. They say uh, it's kind. Of, it's so funny that you said herpes because there was another thing that said by they they predict by twenty twenty five, um, one out of every three people right will have herpes. Oh, raising it up. Yeah, it's spreading around worse. Than, <laughs> Apparently, that, right. I was like, oh. I thought people figured out condoms a long time ago. No. Like, is it, it's coming back around where nobody's using condoms anymore. I don't even know. I know I would just because. I was just like, fuck this. I'm vaccinated. I can't. I'm impenetrable. Well, just in general, I'm, I'm sure it seemed like for a while, most, uh, most people I ran into were consistently condomed up. Mm-hmm. It, like consistently. And I do hear more of people raw dogging it more these days than 
I'm, I'm talking about like 10 years ago. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Except if you're in a like an elderly community because those those people run rampant and that's actually where the highest number of STDs uh, flourish is in uh, like old folks homes and shit like that. I mean, in, in old and, communities. And let's face it, they're on the edge of death anyway. So who cares if you get, get the clam or the clap? The really? clam. <laughs> I've had the drip before when I was in the army. Just saying. God damn it. Got that back at 48. Slap, on. slap some dirt on it. You're fine, pussy. <laughs> I was I was getting sexually transmitted diseases where you're at home in shit and green, wiping your ass with the flag. You're weird. Yeah, uh-uh. you're an odd person. I want to know how this happens. There was there was a guy. He got his wedding ring stuck around his cock because he was using it <laughs> as a cock ring. Okay, if your wait, fucking wait, dick is. No. So- if your fucking dick is so needly that you can fit your wedding ring. I mean, I don't know if this guy had fucking like breakfast sausage fingers or whatever, but but mm. have you ever seen an octopus? Yes. Okay, you know how big their tentacles are. You know, it'll be a trunk something like this, but they go through the thing the size of the quarter when it is soft and pliable. You put that thing in a ring, thinking it's funny, and then all of a sudden the blood starts rushing, and now it ain't coming off. Well, he didn't think think, of think it's funny. if you shove hard enough, you could get into something way, way, way smaller than, than it really is. Well, I've never had a dick, so I just think about like fabric, anything like when it when it's loose, and and oh God, no, that's a nightmare situation. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I mean, here's another nightmare fucking situation that you, I, I I mean, women could say, "Oh God, that sounds great," and this and that. No, 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 no. I I will. It it wouldn't be that awesome for me. This this woman had to be. She went to the hospital after she had a th- an orgasm that lasted three hours. That's not a bad one. Well, it's the people who get them that last for the rest of their lives that feel bad for three hours. That might be fun. A three-hour orgasm? I don't know. Because what? if when I – oh, when you come, I mean, you're – well, my like whole body spasms and, and, and contracts. Like, you know, my muscles just like fucking clench. No, I do not want that to be happening for three hours. I could happen for a little while, but I mean, like longer, a couple minutes, cool, but. Well, now now you're like almost assuming that you have a choice of when it stops. You know, <laughs> what if you're just being held down and somebody's forcibly doing something to you, just like in your fantasies that you've been having? That's your mouth. Well, I'm just saying, let's say those fantasies catch up with you. Well. And then you end up with a three hour orgasm. Nah. And if you if you pull out of it, I mean, who are you talking to? I've done drugs before. No, I know that's that's I what mean, I'm saying. A three hour orgasm. I mean, if you think about it, yeah. If you think about it, yeah, because you you just want to fucking yeah. If you're if you're having a good time on yeah. some good enough LSD or something, it's in, indistinguishable. Really, you don't know which is which, and you don't care. Yeah, it's that's it's really good. And you were fine for three hours, you know, even longer on that. Sorry about your new couch. <laughs> You're on vacation huh. when you come back. Okay. So, you know, at least it ended. I mean, because you've done a bunch of the stories where, uh, oh. like, it's stuck. Right. Like, women that, that uh, just continually. That seems like it would be an actual curse. Uh, Three hours is just an interesting story. Yeah. Th- yeah. Okay. Three hours is like, yeah, when I did a bunch of drugs. I mean, what do you think her conversation was like as she's getting checked into the hospital? Hi, uh, what's your name? <laughs> talk to someone else. Uh, that would be so weird. Uh, I'd be totally into it. Yeah, I know you would. <laughs> You're like, this is fucking great. We are going to bang like right Who here. Who wouldn't right be here. totally into that? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there are people that wouldn't be. However, if I'm I'm admitting you into the hospital and you're doing that, I'm like, oh, geez, I got to go. You got to go. The uh, I cannot. <laughs> no. She ain't been doing this the whole time. Well, we're waiting. I'm just saying. I don't think I can hang around you for very. I gotta go somewhere else, or I'm gonna be inappropriate. <laughs> you what don't is- need that right now. You need medical attention. I'm not the right person to be talking to. <laughs> what happens if I touch it? That, that's what I I'm saying. It? 
Like, <laughs> why don't we just go somewhere for a little while? It'd be fun. We'll have a great time. Like, You're not having a good time anymore, but maybe you will. I don't know. Give it a shot. It's like, Maybe we'll get it to turn the other way. It's like, uh, nurse, um, we need some paper towels. <laughs> Got a little, uh. There's some regular towels. Yeah, that'd be better. Just, Sheets. You know. <laughs> hot water, maybe a gallon. Hot water. You need hot water sometimes. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, well. Some we're ice getting... for when I'm done. Oh, right. I need to ice my muscles down. They cramp up sometimes when I've been going at it for three or four hours. <laughs> Please, I can't take it anymore. You did this. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> I just wanted to stop. That's right. I'll force through it. You will. Other little show kitty, little tubs. Yeah, just planted his big giant liger ass up on the on the. I don't think he's on camera though. Okay. No, nope, he's ducking under. He knows. He's a good gaffing kitty. He's not like Pago. He's not like yeah. Jumps on the keyboard as we're trying to do it. It's just like, hey, what you filming? I mean, anybody that has a cat understands, too. A lot of times when they jump on something and you don't want them stepping on everything, they'll wreck everything. Yeah. You know that you just need to – you need to leave them alone and convince them. To come <laughs> off, off of that. Yeah, you can't startle them. Don't don't try to move them, push them. You almost got to – come on, buddy. Come on. Their Let, little gingerly movements turns into spazzy ultra fuck-up things. Yeah, and if you leave them alone, they won't step on anything, and they're oddly coordinated like that. You just watch them work through a minefield of crap on a table. Not a problem at all. Nervy especially. The second you say something to them and distract them at all, ah! it's like everything just goes to shit. Everything starts <laughs> flying around like, God damn it, why did I try to move you? I know better. What did I do? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys. Well, on that note, we're going to go for the night. Um, so I hope you have a wonderful week, shift, trip, month, night, day, whatever it is you're doing. Do you have anything for me, SC? Uh, All right, guys. Well, I got nothing. I got nothing going on. But check my social media and uh, I don't know. I'll let you know what's up. And you also see titties. Who doesn't like titties? I like titties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Kiss and pain parts love you. Bye. Uh. Uh. Fat kitty. Ow. I like tacos and burritos.